Welcome back to another video from your friends at Altitude University. I'm David, and today we are going to cover part two of our drone roof inspection video series. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to provide you with more drone related content. If you missed last week's video, make sure to check it out. Last week, we covered some of the benefits of using drones for roof inspections and some of the factors you'll need to consider when flying these types of gigs. Today, we'll walk you through conducting an actual inspection. Conducting a roof inspection using a drone is a great way to get a detailed look at your roof or a customer's roof without needing to climb up there yourself. By using both RGB and thermal cameras, you can spot problems that might not be visible to the naked eye. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you through the process, whether you're a homeowner or a professional. Before you begin your aerial roof inspection, there are several important preparation steps to follow. Start by walking around the property to identify any hazards that might be present. Power lines, fixtures on the roof, trees, birds, and other obstacles could make flying a drone in the area tricky. If there are any obstructions in the area, develop a flight path that avoids these dangers. Next. Ensure you have all the necessary permissions and certifications to fly a drone in your area. Unless you are looking at your own roof, you will need a remote pilot certification from the FAA to conduct this type of work. When using the standard RGB camera on your drone, you'll want to capture footage when enough light is available to see the wear and tear on the roof. Generally, the best time for conducting thermal roof inspections is 45 minutes to an hour after sunset. During the heat of the day, as the sun starts to make the roof universally warm, this can mask some flaws or areas of concern. After sunset, the roof will rapidly cool, and about 45 minutes to an hour later, problem spots will really stand out thermally. Remember, you'll need anti-collision lights for your drone if you're flying during this time of day. It's also crucial to check the weather conditions and whether or not you need airspace authorization before flying. Avoid strong winds, rain, or extreme temperatures to ensure safety and achieve the best results. Now that you have made sure it's safe and legal to fly, you'll want to turn your attention to your drone. Verify that your drone is in good working order, that the batteries are fully charged, and that you have all the necessary accessories for the inspection, like extra batteries and propellers. Make sure your RGB and thermal cameras are properly attached and functioning. Lastly, a detailed flight plan should be created, considering the size and complexity of the roof. A good idea is to plan a grid pattern for specific points of interest that will cover the entire area. When conducting an RGB camera drone inspection, set the camera settings for optimal image quality, including resolution, ISO, and shutter speed. Launch the drone and perform an initial survey of the roof to get an overview. Adjust the altitude and camera angle to capture clear images, ensuring no parts of the roof are missed. Follow the planned flight path to capture high-resolution images of the entire roof, paying special attention to areas that typically experience wear and tear, such as joints, valleys, and flashings. Capture multiple angles of potential problem areas and store all images systematically, ensuring they are labeled and tagged according to their location on the roof. For a thermal camera drone inspection, start with a pre-flight check to ensure the thermal camera is properly calibrated and functioning. Adjust the settings for thermal sensitivity and image capture frequency. Launch the drone and perform an initial thermal survey of the roof, using the thermal camera to identify temperature variations that may indicate issues like water damage, leaks, or poor insulation. Follow a similar path as the RGB inspection to ensure comprehensive coverage, focusing on identifying hot spots, which could indicate potential issues, and cold spots, which might indicate areas of water pooling or leaks. Just like your RGB data, thermal images and data must be stored in a manner that makes it easy to compare them to the RGB images and video. This will help pinpoint problem errors. After completing the drone inspection, review the collected RGB and thermal images for any signs of damage, wear, or other issues. Use software tools if available to stitch images together for a comprehensive view. Create a detailed report summarizing the findings of the inspection, including high-resolution images and thermal images with annotations to highlight problem areas. Provide recommendations for repairs or further inspection based on the findings and share the report with relevant stakeholders, such as the property owner, contractors, or maintenance teams. By following these steps, you can conduct a thorough and effective roof inspection using both RGB and thermal camera drones. This approach provides valuable insights into the condition of the roof 
helping you spot issues early and maintain the integrity of the structure. That's it for part two of this series. We hope you enjoyed it and you are ready to conduct basic roof inspections with your drone. Thanks for watching today's video. From all of us at Altitude University, stay safe out there and happy flying.